Peruvians say you either love or hate Keiko Fujimori. At 41 years old, the presidential candidate has more than 20 years in politics under her belt. But it's the legacy of her father, disgraced former leader Alberto Fujimori, that looms large over her campaign. Born in 1975, she came of age during Alberto's iron fist rule in the 1990s. His brutal repression against the communist guerrilla group The Shining Path, which carried out attacks and kidnappings, won the admiration of many. But the 77-year-old is now behind bars for corruption and crimes against humanity. Keiko entered the political spotlight at just 19, acting as first lady of the nation after the hostile divorce between Alberto Fujimori and her mother, Susana Higuchi. The right-wing populist was elected to Congress in 2006 and received an MBA from Columbia University in 2008. It was during her time in the U.S. that she met her husband, American Mark Vianea. The mother of two first ran for president in 2011, but was defeated by current head of state Ollanta Humala in the second round. This April, her brother Kenji was elected a member of Congress, winning more votes than any other deputy. Now, Keiko is once again hoping to make history by becoming Peru's first female president, this time facing center-right economist Pedro Pablo Kuczynski in the runoff. Keiko has vowed to invest in infrastructure for poor communities and promised to fight crime by putting more police on the streets and building more prisons. During her campaign, plagued by massive protests, Keiko tried to both use her father's popularity for economic prosperity and distance herself from some of the dark memories of his rule, including the forced sterilization of more than 250,000 poor and indigenous women. Polls put her and Kuczynski neck and neck ahead of the June 5th vote, in which some 23 million are registered to participate.